What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. So, uh, more roster news. And now, first it started with Mark Lewinsky, and now it is Chris Reed. So, Chris Reed is accepting a deal with the Minnesota Vikings. He will not be returning to Indianapolis. Cody and I talked about it a lot. I think a lot of people talked about it a lot that they wish that they could keep Chris Reed in the building because, you know, Chris Reed is a very formidable guard. Um, but yeah, we are now going to be without both of our uh, guards there outside of Quentin Nelson. Uh, really the only true guard that was, uh, there's really no other true guard on our roster at the moment. Um couple good news, couple bad news about this. I mean, obviously when you look at when you look at what Chris Reed was able to do, you know, Chris Reed really stepped in, you know, played a, in a lot of great games, played some really good football for us. You know, stepped in when Quentin Nelson got hurt, stepped in uh when and they originally had him starting over Glowinski for a while. Um but, you know, he was very formidable, you know, a guy that really played well on the interior for us. We really needed him. Um, and then, obviously, he is now gone. So, a couple of good news, though, to back up this news. And I don't know the uh, details yet of what it what he signed for. I think they signed him to a two-year deal, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not sure of the total number and everything yet. But... Good news is you do have Danny Pinter who can play in that guard position. You know, Danny Pinter has played at every position on the offensive line, and he is, you know, a guy that can be serviceable at all of those. Uh, and guard certainly seems like one that he could be. So you never know. Uh, that could be the Colts' move. Another good thing is that the free agent market for guards is still massive. There's still a lot of guys uh, who are guards that are free agents right now that the Colts would be able to pick up and sign at any given moment uh, for relatively cheap. So I don't think they're going to be in any uh, big hurry to sign a guard. So obviously there's, there's some alternatives for what the Colts are trying to do at the guard position. But it really does stink that Chris Reed is not going to be returning to Indy because, again, do I think any of these guard options could be as good, if not better, than Chris Reed? I, I'm not too high on that. You know, I think there were a few guys that might have some higher potential, but not a ton of guys that I can see that would be better than what Chris Reed was for us. But then again, you know, Matt Pryor got signed late last season, came in, he became a starting level guy for us. So I, I think that it's worthy to at least see what the Colts have in mind. But nevertheless, uh, Chris Reed, uh, we greatly appreciate you. Uh, even if it was only for a year with us, greatly appreciate everything you did for Indianapolis. Greatly appreciate your play and your support here in Indy. Hope you do well in Minnesota. Thank you guys again so much. Let us know your thoughts on losing Chris Reed. Do you think that's going to be a common demise, or do you think the Colts have a backup plan uh, to make up for losing Chris Reed? Thank you guys again so much, and as always, go Colts.